today we are back in the old mill district and guess where we are going to eat lunch the old mill so yummy yep we'll put our name in and then we'll wait probably go look at the store and wait our turn we're gonna eat an early lunch today Thirty minutes and about fifteen, more like it. I think I'm going to have Thanksgiving early this year. I'm going to settle on the turkey and dressing. A lot of fried stuff here, but I know the meatloaf is good. I've had that before. What have you decided on? You may get the chicken pot pie. And sometimes you can get a table with a great view of the river. We've had that before. We sat by the by the window before. What you got there? Some awesome corn chowder. Oh, it's so good. And here's what we love the most corn fritters, okay, corn fritters with homemade maple butter. Oh, this. Also, another unique characteristic here is the bear salt and pepper shakers. Those are for sale in the store next door. Alright, let's put some butter on these fritters and eat them. Maple butter and corn fritter. How I have missed that. So good. How is it? Yeah, the corn chowder is good. And the food is here. What did you order? Chicken pot pie. Good night. I have not had one of these in years. Chicken pot pie. I went with the turkey and dressing. The dressing is underneath there. I'm ready to dig in. This looks good. Let's see what that looks like inside. It's quite hot. Yeah, it's hot. Good? Yeah, it's really hot. So what did you think of that meal? It's fantastic. Pot pie was really good. Yeah. It's too much food. Well, at least we won't be hungry for a while. No. And I'm telling you, that place, no table sits empty for very long. It doesn't, mm -hmm. tables don't get cold. They are constantly calling names and have people eating there. They clean too. the table and they seat somebody right, right away. So we went at a good time because it's really getting packed now. And what did we just buy at the store? Uh, we bought the uh, pancake mix. We've never had their pancakes, but we bought their pancake mix. Figured on a nice cold Saturday morning here in the next couple of months, we'll get up and make some genuine old meal pancakes. Maybe we'll share with Lance, maybe? Maybe we'll share. Maybe. I don't know. We might just keep it all for ourselves. Anyway, we're going to go back in the pottery store and watch the potter work.
there's the farmhouse kitchen, the candy kitchen, and of course, Pigeon River Pottery. We've got a potter working outside here as well. This place does get busy early. The traffic coming in and out of here is pretty heavy. This is a very popular area. And of course, there's the old mill right over there. I guess not. And there's still seating people up at the old mill. A line to get in. The line of cars coming into this area. Very popular. We are out on the parkway in Pigeon Forge. Now we're heading toward a place we've never been before, the, the island in Pigeon Forge, which is a new newer, newer area of shopping and dining and entertainment and things like that. It's all walkable. We're gonna go find a parking space and walk around and see what we can find. Traffic's not bad right now out here on the parkway. I've seen it way worse. Parkway here in Pigeon Forge reminds me a lot of Branson because it's not walkable like Gatlinburg is. You drive it, but there's all kinds of you see these go kart things and museums and rides, shows like Dolly Dolly Parton's Stampede is back behind us. But there's miniature golf, there's souvenir shops, there's entertainment. You name it. What is this here? The Rockin' Raceway. You can ride go-karts. Uh, arcade inside. Up here on the right was one of Lance's favorite things to joke about. The Comedy Barn. We never went inside it, but he always made a joke. You got this Jurassic Park boat ride over here on the left. We've never done that. And like I said, there's no shortage of pancake houses and breakfast <laughs> restaurants down here. There's the Red Rooster Pancake House, Smokey's Pancake House, Flapjack's Pancake House. Here's a, here's the old great pancakes right there at the Farmhouse Cafe, Frizzle Chicken. And there's the Comedy Barn. And you got this, uh, looks like a massive Western store, Alcatraz East crime museum and then here we are at the island there's like a little amusement park out here there's a margaritaville resort Nice. You got these fountains you can sit here and watch. You've got the sky fly. Excuse me, can you tell me where I can find some beef jerky? Oh, thanks. These fountains dance and move with the music. I can't record too much though because YouTube will not be happy with this. So it's like a theme park slash outdoor mall. You got this massive ropes course here for the kids. A 
mirror maze back there. Oh, there's a mellow mushroom over here. We have seen this bear before. They have the same one at Decorator's Warehouse at home. There's a sock store we went in. Nothing but any kind of sock you can imagine. Another beef jerky store. Fine art gallery. Quite windy out here today. Not as cold, but just more windy. This evening we're going to try Cumberland Jack's for dinner. As I pointed out earlier in the week, this is the newest restaurant. And if it's half as good as Crockett's, which is the same owner, we're in for a treat. We're seated right by the window. I love this decor on the ceiling. We just had bread brought to our table, glistening with butter. There's butter, I don't know if you can see that, at the bottom of the basket. Good stuff though, huh? Very good stuff. They also just brought us veggie soup. Oh, it's got a lot of vegetables in it. Looks good, it smells good. That's included with the meal. How is it? It's good. Okay, our food just came. I ordered the pulled pork. Looks and smells really good. Potato salad looks good. Coleslaw looks good. You ordered the smoked chicken salad, and those are okra croutons. They're delicious. I just tried one. That's a big salad. Look at the size of that bowl. Very big salad. All right. Let's give this a try. She asked for a plate because there was so much salad in that bowl. There's still a bunch in that bowl. But the chicken is really good. It's tender. It's juicy. I took a bite of it. Uh, the potato salad and the coleslaw tastes fresh, tastes really good, good flavor to it, and that pulled pork was delicious. It's, uh, the sauce is really good, the meat is tender. Uh, I'm ready to dive in. Uh, it was really, really good the first few bites. That was a delicious meal. We just found another restaurant to add to our favorites for every time we come. Crockett's for breakfast. Cumberland's for dinner. So we're back down here at Old Smoky Hollow to listen to some live bluegrass. Except this time, we got a seat right under the heater. So we may be here for a while since it's nice and toasty.
We're headed back to the hotel after another fun day. Listening to some more good music. The temperature is dropping though. We didn't realize it's setting under that heat lamp like we were.